Hello, I'm Pam Hayes from Hayes Sewing Machine Company. Welcome back to our creative videos. And today we're going to be focusing on another three yard quilt. And this is done by the Quick as a Wink three yard quilt book. And the one that we're going to be working with is entwined. So it's that guy right there. What's cool with this particular quilt is even though they look, they're two separate blocks that you're going to put together, it's the same block, just different colorways. So you'll notice that this one I have is majority green, and then I have it here, and then that down at the bottom, and then the other three are going to be blue, blue, and that's the one I'm going to show you how to work today. When you're doing work with your assembling, um, if you take a look down here, you basically have A and B that are going to go together to make one colorway, and C and D, which are going to work on the other colorway for the block. Mm -hmm. So this is in the book, they'll tell you exactly how, you know, how wide and everything, how to measure it. They're positive negatives. You go for it, whatever. <laughs> They're different colorways. <laughs> All right. So the one that we're going to work with today is going to be basically the majority of the blue. So we're going to be working with that one. And when I work with this, that's how we're going to start. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you're working with your guys and you want to sew those together, so basically strip A and strip B, and sorry, I thought I put my quarter inch foot on. We'll just use this. All right. So we're going to take, and when we line this up, uh, because I've twisted it, let me just make sure I'm actually lining up. See? That's what happens when you mm -hmm. twist it. All right. So we're going to take, line those two up, and you're going to work with your quarter of an inch seam. And I'm just letting the machine know what foot I have on. And I'm going to work with my quarter inch. All right, so this particular, now when you have the, again, strip A, strip B, that's how it's going to line up and look. <laughs> And just for the, those of us, um, those two units came from, from these strips here. These two blocks. Okay. Yep, so, these two strips. All right, good enough. All righty. Just going to give it a quick press. Okay. So now at this point, we need to add a, the blue on this end. So I'm going to find my piece. And I line this guy up. All right. So see how we're building up our block. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to pause for a second so I can get my um, rotary mat. Alrighty, so I got my mat and my ruler and my cutter and I'm just going to make sure that blue piece, which I did press the seam towards the blue, so towards the piece I just stitched on. And you'll see how I have extended bits, so I'm just lining it up at this point, making sure I'm on my straight and then just chopping that bit off. Alrighty, so that's the next grouping. So again, these two I had already joined 
in my assemblies. Mm -hmm. I've added the blue on and now I'm going to take and I'm going to add a top and a bottom. So I'm going to line it up here and there. So again, you're going to use your quarter inch seam. Cut this guy, and I'm going to flip it around so the other side. So this is really interesting. Instead of having you subcut the pieces to size, you're just stitching them on and trimming them out. Just stitching them on, trimming them up. That's nice. Saves you from having to do a lot of cutting up the front. On cutting the front. up the front. Yep. Alrighty. So again, that's what we're going to have. Nice. Again, I'm going to go over to the pressing board and I'm just going to press the seams towards the blues. Alrighty. So now, I obviously have to trim this up, just like I did on the, the other side. going to take the time to line up my lines to make sure they're on the ruler so they're nice and straight. Flip it around and do the same thing. That way when you cut it you're not doing anything uneven. Okay, now for each block that you see here, okay, each of those blocks, you are going to make four that I just showed you how to make. Okay, so you're going to technically have 12 of one colorway and 12 of the other colorway. So I'm making my final block, and how we want it to be laid out is like so. You'll see on this one I focused that the green was coming over and then down. Mm -hmm. And what's cool with this guy is you basically, when you're lining it up, you're going to do the same thing, mm -hmm. but you will flip it. Gotcha. So, like I said, let's do this guy first. So when we line this up, and remember if you are finding that the seam, um, you know, one block is a little bit bigger than the other, what do, what's the rule? You put the big one down towards the feed dog. Yeah, always so with the big bottom. So the big bottom. When I go, so remember, this is what they were like, exactly the same, right? Oh, hold on for a second. Got it. See how they're exactly the same? Mm -hmm. So basically, just rotate one of them. Yep, so it's like a big four patch. Like a big four patch. Now, the only thing I would do, I didn't press my first one. Yes, yeah, see that seam there is not pressed. Because remember, we want to press them one direction for, you know, the seam for one direction at the bottom and one direction for the top. So what I do is I always put a pin or a clip. That way I know I'm going to be pressing towards that. Because it seems so clear now, then when you get to the ironing board, it's like, what? 
<laughs> I hear that can happen. Yeah, bad rumor, right? Okay. So again, we're going to line this up. Anytime we've moved it, we want to make sure that we line it up again. Mm -hmm. All right, now at this point, I have done my <clears throat> seam allowances, one going one way, one the other. I'm going to take, and we need to focus on this seam here, but that's the beauty of this block. Nothing else to match. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, so we're going to take it, fold it, and this is where I take and I put a little clip in there just to hold it temporarily for me. And so I remember which seam I'm going to be doing. Now at this point, see if we can remember how to do our quilt tack, right? We're going to take and do a couple of stitches before the seam and a couple stitches after. We're then going to open it up. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so now again, you can take a look at your block. If you find that one is bigger than the other, what are we going to do? Put the larger one on the bottom. And this is good to do whether you're quilting, whether you're sewing a, a skirt, a blouse, anything that you have the bigger section, always put it down to the bottom. All right, and take a look-see. There we go. Nice. Now, we're going to attach this to our bigger blocks in, so I have my row. I'm just going to press that seam we just stitched. I was going to mention it because my OCD was kicking in there. <laughs> I'm like, it needs to be flat. It, it needs to be flat. be flat. So, yes, I am pressing that. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to take a look. So, we started out with a the green, then the blue. Then it alternated, blue and green. And guess what? We're back to the green again. So, the green wants to be on the left. And then the blue is going to be on the right. And then... We're going to line this guy up. And again, back to this, we only have at the moment one seam to do. So when I line this up, back to the same thing, I look at it to make sure that's the only one I need to line up, and it is. Lovely that they got that for our quilt. Again, we're going to do our quilt tack. Just a couple stitches before and a couple stitches after, right on your quarter inch seam. Open it up, take a look. Looks good. And now we're going to line up the rest of the seam. Again, when we line it up, if I feel that one side is a little bigger, going to put that little piece down and that could be pressing that could be the type of fabric that you're using there's a lot of variables to that because we automatically assume that we have a quarter inch perfect ah, yeah of <laughs> yeah, course that's just a given <laughs> <laughs> sure made lightning not striking there you go <laughs> Okay. 
All right. And then, ta-da, we have our seam. So everything's nice and lined up. We're going to give this a press, and then we're going to attach it to the bottom here. And let me do that real quick. Let me just pull this down. Now, when you actually attach it to the bottom, you are going to have, I think, one or two more seams that you have to line up. But so far, it really hasn't been bad for lining up the seams. Give it a press. All right, now. <laughs> I put a little pin in the bottom so I knew what the bottom was. Smart. Because, like I said, it seems so clear. Okay, that's where we're going to line it up. So basically, we have the seam, that seam, and then that seam there for doing. So not a big deal. All right. So we're going to line this up. And again, we're going to get it... have my seams going one way and the other. And it's always better to do this doing a quilt tack because if you have to, if you sew the whole seam then check the seams, you have a lot more unpicking to do. Ask me how I know. <laughs> how do you know? How do I know? Yep. Okay, so again, a couple of tacks, move it over to my next seam. get so hung up on doing the quilt tacks as soon as we forget to actually look to see whether they lined up. That looks good. Looks good enough for me. Mm-hmm. Looks good. And looks yeah, good. Nice. Okay. Now again when we line this up, remember if you find that one seam, one bit seems to be a little bit bigger, we're going to place that down. Of course, it seems to be pretty good. Yep, the next one seems to be good. Last one sewn on. So look at that. Looks gorgeous. All right. Now, the only thing that you'll have left to do when you're done, if you're going to add borders to this, and sometimes you can kind of leave it as it is if you want to like a modern looking quilt, 
But if you want borders, um, they have you cut borders out. And this is how it's going to go. So they're going to do the sea glass, which is what I've done in this case. And then they're going to have a thin strip of the blue. And that's going to be border number two. So that's going to be spectacular. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this project, and we'll see you next time.